Yo, what's up, everybody? Today we are going to be talking about Feather Client, which is a client I've been using recently and I really enjoy using. Obviously, if you have Java uh, and you're on PC and you're not getting as good as FPS as you'd want to on PC, you're you're struggling, you're stuttering, you're not really getting that gamer feel because it's just plain Minecraft. Well, this is the solution right this is not sponsored in any way this is just me talking about feather client because i really do enjoy it so obviously when you boot when you download it you boot it up it's gonna have you log in out of your microsoft account i've already done that because i've been using it for a couple of days but uh where you download it is you just here oh let me like actually here so we got we got the feather client right here and it's just this small tab here it's just gonna stay like that um so what you're going to do is you're just gonna search up feather client and it's just gonna be the first link obviously you have to have windows for this so you're just gonna click download and then it'll ask you to you click save and it'll just boot up. I'm not going to do that because I already have it downloaded. But you will. And then you just boot up the software. Uh, it's going to tell you to launch Fabric. That's what it means. That's what's going to open it. So it's going to open the game. Uh, but the thing is that you're not going to get the best performance just on Feather Cloud. You're going to need mods. I will have a link down in the description for the mods that I'm using that have gotten me roughly 200 FPS when before I was get, getting like 60 to 70 without Feather Recline. So here's a list of the mods that I've been using. Um, sodium, which is good, Lithium. Uh, do If you are playing uh, any survival SMPs, make sure to have replay mod off because they will uh, ban you for having that on, unfortunately. But like with everything else here, it just makes the game run better. And you get, uh, if you are a person who enjoys CPVP, Crystal PVP, this will help you with like most of your other stuff. And it's really easy just to use. Uh, but I'll go and show you guys how to get your own mods in here. And it's really easy. So... Obviously, if you've watched any of my past videos, I have talked about win.rar, which is really easy to get. Just search up win.rar. It's the second link that pops up. So, I got this mods zip file. You're just going to open this up. And you're just going to have these this list of mods. And to add your own mods, you're just going to open it. It's going to give you... It's going to open up in our window. Obviously, you can see here, all these mods are already here. But what you do is you just highlight all. You would make sure to highlight all of them. And then just drag them into this folder. I'm not going to do that, but you would. And it would just transfer over. And then, boom, all your mods would be here. Make sure to uh, turn off replay mod if you're going to play something like Donut SMP. Which I got running in the background right now on my Bedrock account. Um, and you can see, like, default. Like... You can browse mods. They're, they have mods that you can use if you want to. So you can use all these. I might actually use some of these too. Um, Apple skin, which is really useful. That's like food slash hunger uh, improvement. You can like change your skins. Uh, you can create a server if you want to. Uh, I'm not sure what that's about. Let's see what that's about. Oh, you can literally just host a world. Oh, interesting. All right, so I'm going to use that for that sooner than later. Cool. I'll, I'll get like a $200 PC and just have that run. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, That's something I didn't know yet. But uh, once you launch it, you just get like a really cool UI. I'll actually go and show you guys that real quick. Because if you know the basic Minecraft Java UI, it's completely different 
Obviously, this will take a second to like actually boot up, but once it does, it's see it'll load. There's there's my Bedrock account right there, and it'll it'll close, and then it'll boot up a window. It takes a few minutes occasionally, just because it's having to performance everything to the max. Is it Minecraft is running? Just give it a second and it'll boot up. Just gonna close that. There we go. Here it is. And that'll just take a second to load up. It'll say not responding, but just give it a sec. You just gotta let it sit and wait. It'll fix itself eventually. I don't know who did that. That was just someone in the Discord. All right. So it, it gives you the school like UI and everything else. If you saw it load in. Um, and obviously there's like feather mods and everything. You can have auto text, camera, your CPS, custom cross pair, elytras, enabled. Not sure what that does, but you can have your direction, FPS, everything else show up. And here's some of the screenshots I've taken. Um, I won't let me close it. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, just pretty basic stuff. Alright guys, uh, there's some basic stuff there. Uh, it's really, really useful. You'll get like a ton of FPS and like other stuff. I'm not going to game test it because if you look at uh, some of my recent videos, I literally have it running in the background. So if you guys do enjoy this type of content, please let me know. Because I, I like just talking about stuff like this where I can just kind of show you guys Feather Client and just how to use it. And there will be a link down in the description for uh, the mod pack and you guys can just use it and really easy, really easily. Hope you guys enjoy, and thank you for watching.